Hey guys, good morning. Thanks for stopping by today. We're going to get into some beehives here. I want to make up some nukes. It's uh, it's uh, April 26th. It's a new moon, so that's when I like to do it. Between new and full, you don't have to be exactly on the new, but uh, uh, yeah, get in between there and you'll have better success rate on these things. So without any further ado, let's, we're burning daylight here. I got, it's, it's bad day. I mean, it's, it's cloudy. It's cloudy, it's cool, and uh, guess what? These bees are probably not gonna be happy to see me this morning, but I got too many irons in the fire today. I gotta get this thing going. But what I wanted to show you real quick was uh, how I transport bees. I get the, you know, you get these little plastic bags at your local grocer. So get those, and that makes an excellent hole plug, you know, for your temporary, so you can transport your bees. I've taken a five frame nuke, this is the old beefy beehive that we talked about. These things are working out beautiful. I love them. They're homemade frames. You got the string in here waxed down, starter strip for the bees. The thing about these is that you have to either be on a flow, a good next year source coming in natural, or you're going to feed these bees. Well, I'm making up nukes, so I'm going to be feeding these bees regardless. Because I feed my bees for at least a at least minimum of 10 days. And I probably will do it all the way up for 30 days. And then I will evaluate, see how much food stores they have, uh, you know, to uh, continue on. But you want to feed while you're making your queens. Even if I'm on a good honey flow, say if I, I don't meet, move bees a lot anymore, but when I used to, I did it on honey flows. I'd chase the bloom and I would make up every time I'd hit. I'd hit new when I would uh, get in there on a flow. I'd go in at new moon and make up the hives. I'd make up like a hundred of these at a time, because I was running like 250 colonies as a sideline. So I would keep a hundred of these cooking at all times uh, in case uh, one of my production hives went down. I could immediately go to this, grab a nice fresh, brand new queen, and bees and all. And I would take the any bees left in the old colony, I'd shake them all on the ground if they, the hive failed. And then I would insert this brand new nook with a new queen, uh, laying queen, into that hive. Then I would uh, reload it with frames and all those bees that were used to coming in, this, they would come back through and, 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 and mingle and it would be fine. So that's how we did it. So let me uh, get the camera in here so you guys can see what I'm up to. And uh, let's get into this stuff. I've got one already set up over here, a box here. Now, the mission here is to get three frames for this makeup. And uh, what we do on that I gotta make this hook. I gotta get this hook stretched out better for these beefy beehives so it'll hang there. Well, it's hanging there now. I guess that's fine. Let's see what we got here, guys. I've been feeding these colonies, so uh, so they're drawing these frames out nice. As you can see, their the combs are really coming along pretty. Kind of blow these bees out of your way to look in themselves and see if she's putting eggs in there. It's kind of hard to see these eggs when they're in brand new comb like this. You gotta kinda tilt it. But I'm seeing eggs in there, which is a good thing. All right. That, way, that frame we don't need. This frame, they're starting to load it up with, uh, the, with, with seal brood. See, I want solid seal. This is seal brood here. I want this thing solid. There's a patch here. Yeah, 
Now she's laying this she's laying this one up nice. And this temperament on these guys are nice so far. So far, not bad. Quite a bit of seal brood here. And we have some eggs also. I've got to get a... I dummied up. I've got to get a light to really check these close. I should have got my big heavy-duty spotlight. I've got a million candle power. That thing works nice for this, but it's in the house, and I'm not going back in the house right now. <laughs> this little light ought to give me what I need. eggs down and they're nice. I'm going to see if I've got a little bit better frame. This one would work. I may take it. I may go ahead and take it. Now what I don't want to do, what I don't want to do here guys, is take the uh, queen. My mission here is to leave these queens here at this yard. And we're going to make up three here, and then we're going to go to that other yard that I was telling you about before. And uh, there's one queen right hive over there. And what I will do is take that queen and move it over here. That way I've got all four queens over here, and the other starter colonies will be over there. Now it's possible you can mess up and miss her here. I'm usually pretty good at finding queens. And I'm not seeing her yet here. All right. I'm not seeing her yet. This is one of the frames I did a cutout on. You see, I use rubber bands to put the pieces in. These bees will chew and snap those rubber bands right out of there. And they haven't done it yet, but you can see they welded it all the way around, all the edges. All right, this guy's going in. This guy is going back in. Now I'm going to put a plane. I'm going to put a plane on in between here so they can get working on it. They've already got starters on both sides. And we're going to go downstairs now. We're going to go downstairs and see what we can rob there. I'm wanting one more frame, just about solid brood. And. Uh, one honey pollen frame and that'll be our makeup for this guy here there's a lot of bees here this thing is uh, coming along pretty see you got more rubber bands here you see these more rubber bands in here where i was doing the cut up this hive here came from that eight frame deep so what i was doing is chopping out salvaging that stuff from there now, there's quite a bit of seal brood here uh, just don't look too shabby. Take all I can get, all the brood, I, seal brood I can get. I'm not seeing mama yet. So you want that seal brood because they're going to be hatching soon and reinforce this box. So these bees only last 30 days. That's their, their, that's their life expand. They wear their wings out in 30 days. So anything you got emerging is going to be brand new, fresh, young, strong bees to go ahead and complete this hive till she gets back. It's a 30, uh, 30 day process here before you go back in these hives. Do not look in these hives, guys, for over, till 30 days. If I catch you in these hives, look, I catch your little pinkies in these hives in, 30, in less than 30 days, I'm going to have to slap your hands, okay? I'm just kidding, I almost left. But, uh, yeah. This, this, this frame don't look too shabby here. I think I'm going to go ahead and insert this one if I don't see this queen here. 
they're starting to get tested. This hive isn't bad, but they're starting to get tested for the simple fact that they're going to be trying to keep it cool. And, uh, yeah. They don't like you. They don't like you playing around in here when the, when the temperature's cool. But I, you know, I, you work bees when you can work bees. But obviously, you don't want to work bees when it's, uh, you know, in the 50s and 60s. But we're up here in the 70s, and so we're, we're all on the glory. Now I got a damn bee inside my veil. Happened to me last time, too. I'm going to have to change suits. I think, I think what it is, they're getting on with this, this, this uh, camera strap gimmick I've got on here. I think that's what's going on. suit on. I'm not going to sit and take all this in the I can just hold that a little bit longer. I want to put some honey in this box here. Oh yeah, they're getting me good. bee venom it uh, pumps up your immune system but uh, you don't want to pump up so much that you end up dying all right so anyway let's not die today i'm gonna shut this camera down and regroup. okay guys sorry about that round two like i told you before uh, uh don't sit and let them beat the crap out of you back off and regroup what I got on now, this little monkey suit here, it's just a date ant, uh, call it date ant honey robber, and they're, they're pretty good rigs. But your face, are really on you bad. If your face touches this screen, they're gonna nail you, okay? All right, I got one loaded. I got one rigged up. I'm gonna put that on the truck, and, uh, and we'll secure this. And the way we do that, Keep this lid from shifting off. Uh, go down to Lowe's and get you some of this shrink wrap. And uh, yeah, just shrink wrap this puppy down like this. That'll keep your that'll keep your lid from shifting out. And I just normally leave this on for the full 30-day period. Uh, and also, you'll notice the direction of these combs <coughs> are this way. I transport them this way. Because you transport the box this way, you're going to get this every time you hit the brake. And you're just smashing bees and making a worse mess. And if you've got a queen in here, you're able to pinch her, and then that's the end of that colony. Okay. And uh, let's see, what have I got going here? I'm gonna wrap one this way too. Normally, I'm, from now on, I'm making lids that just fit the top of the box. You'll see here in a little bit is just plywood that fits exactly. I don't have that much warpage issues. 
and even if you do not a big deal the girls will propolis it up so yeah so there's one down one down and uh three to go for this yard let's get this done let's jump into this next one and see what we got going on let's see if we can piss some more bees off here we've already started a nice job of doing that <coughs> I'm not gonna fill up these feeders till I come back. And uh, see, this is one of those just plain cut to the size. That's the way to go on it, pretty much. I don't think there's a whole lot going on in this box. There isn't. So we'll just move this over. Get down into the goodies here. ice frame here. I'm stealing this one right from get-go. You see all that? There's pollen in there. There's a little honey pollen seal brew. I'm stealing this one from my makeup. For sure. Yeah, this is one of the kind of the ones you want to go with right here. This is a nice frame here. You take bees and all, see? I'm going to put it right over here in this box. Get all these guys out of here. One's going in. Yeah, we used to get out there and we moved bees. When as soon as I moved the bees back in the day, I would uh, as soon as they hit the ground, I'm making up these things. I'd make up like a hundred at a time. We can make up a hundred of these in a day. Really hustling. Yeah. Oh yeah. Here's another nice frame. See, I see. That's what you want. Now I'm going to try to find one honey and pollen frame. I'm looking for my queen. I don't want to steal her. I'm going to leave her here. Yeah. This is a nice one. Got eggs in there. I want just a few eggs. You want mostly. So all I need one more. This queen pattern on this girl looks good. She really looks good. Here's another one, honey, pollen. This is all honey. So you got honey and pollen. Guess what? This one's done. All right. This one's done. Now I'm going to leave the three main frames in the center. All right. Three main ones in the center. I want these girls to draw out this stuff straight. So I'm going to try to put this stuff in between. See, put it in between, they'll draw better. Now they've got a wall over here they got to work off of, so they should fill that out nice and straight. Just shove this over here, boom, done. This hive is complete. This hive is complete, and we're ready to go. It's a high plug, roof plug. Steal this one momentarily. So this lid on here. Take this guy. falling asleep guys I'm falling asleep on you sorry about that I'm sleeping at the switch these guys have got to go over here be nice put it in a hive don't you? yeah that'd be real nice Steve put it in a hive I 
guess I can't talk and walk and chew gum at the same time, okay? Alright, that one's done. Now we've got a complete hog. Alright. <clears throat> I'm waking up. It's early yet, guys. Stay with me. They're really roaring in there. And they're roaring because, guess what? They just realized they don't have a queen in here. And a, and a colony will roar like that. When they realize they don't have mama. They're usually not happy campers either when you're, you know, when they don't have mama. They'll be fine. They're going to figure it out by the end of the day. And they're going to start, they're going to start making a new queen. They're going to go in here and select an egg that's about three days old. It's just hatched. And they're going to pick out the one they want. Because guess what, folks? These bees are smarter than I am. Can you imagine that? Imagine a bee smarter than me. All right, now we've got one more. We've got to go one more nuke here. And we're going into the mean hive. We'll just kind of name this one uh, the Twisted Sisters, okay? Yeah, we'll call these girls the Twisted Sisters. Last time I was in here, they were not happy with Steve-O, okay? And, uh, really, I can't really sell me mean bees like this to a hobbyist. You know, you, you don't want to get a bad reputation, guys. So, you know, I, I'm doing, I'm, I'm needing drawn out equipment, so I'm going to use the ugly girls. And if, hey, if you don't mind working mean bees, suit up good. Get you one of these zoot suits like I got on. So far, they haven't hit me. Can't get in this suit. I think what was happening, uh, the camera, there's an independent lit, lid on this thing. They call it a fencing hood. It's what I have on. Now, this frame ain't bad right here. This has got honey and pollen. Okay. <clears throat> Guess what? Then you have that one. You know what I want? I want a chunk of honeycomb. And look at that beautiful thing. I'll tell you what, guys. This is going in. I'm taking this. I'm stealing this puppy right here. I'm stealing that. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to brush these girls off of here. See that? And I'm going to take you in the house. We'll show you how I cut this comb out. See, get that cleaned off of there, and I'm going to shut the lid on this. I don't want these bees coming in this barn here. I'm shutting this door. I don't want them bees in the robin that out while I'm going to the other yard. <coughs> so, let's get in here. We've got our one pollen. We've got our one honey and pollen frame. So, what I'll do here is move this over. Show this in between. Put one over here next to this wall, like a so. This side of the way. Let's get downstairs. Get some good pollen. I mean, uh, brood. What we're looking for. downstairs Oh, 
all these girls are twisted sisters. Let me tell you what, because these bees are mean. You can hear them. They're good. They are just the twisted sisters. For sure. We got this to be a good friend to take. We got all the goodies I need on this. I don't see mama. So we go here. We go here. Here's the next one. Over here. See that's what you want. That is solid. Solid groove. The thing bad here, guys, is this temperament of these bees. More than likely, we're going to reproduce the same one, but I don't have right now the capital money to buy a bunch of palm queens. My cash flow is a little low. So, this is what Steve-O does. Now, I can, you know, if you've got a secure location, obviously you cannot be doing this kind of stuff in an area where you have people. I mean, you know, you're going to set up a scenario. I see the queen right there. She's right there running around right in that side door. I see that little bugger right there. She's right, she's right there on that inside end. Okay. Alright, what do I need here? I need two more frames. I'm going to get down here. There's one of them. There's the other. Let's put this box back together. Load up our stuff and get on to the next yard. I'll meet you guys. I'll meet you guys at the other yard and we'll get that into that other hunt. See you in a bit. Okay guys, back over here at the other yard. Got everything set up here. Getting, the, getting all the girls in place. Now I gotta fill up all these feeder jars. And check on these feeder jars, you guys, every other day. And no. Uh, Keep them topped out. Keep these girls full of syrup. We want full production here. I already made up this one hive that was here. She's on the back of the counter right away. Like the second frame I pulled out, she was on it. The only dumb thing I did, of course, you know, with Steve, you know, we leave the bloopers in on these things, you know, on my videos. A lot of guys hide their little, hide their little bloopers, but I don't. Okay. And one of my bloopers over there was getting chewed up by bees, and then, but I regrouped. And now I'm over here, and I forgot all my buckets. I did bring my jars for these, and, um, uh, but I forgot the bucket, so that's for tomorrow. I'll come by tomorrow, or the next, probably the next day, and uh, tune up that, okay? Got to get a couple more jars. Yeah, this was the hive here. She's in here, so all the girls will be back at, at base camp. And, uh... <coughs> Yeah, this is my messy bee truck. You like it? 99 Ford Ranger. I don't drive a Lamborghini like most guys, you know. No, Steve owes low tech. Yeah, see him in there? You're probably wondering why in the heck is he putting his pine. He put a true old pine branch and some pine needles <coughs> on a couple of hives. Why in the heck did he do that? Well, the reason I did that was these virgin queens, these virgin queens are goofy when they come back, you know. They've been on their mating flight. And sometimes they get in the wrong box. Now, I have switched. You'll notice here I've switched. i got one entrance coming this way, and that hive is going that way. This hive is back this way. That hive is going that way. 
works. That helps with the confusion. Uh, I was going to paint. A lot of guys do it, and I like the idea. They paint the front different colors, orange, white, different patterns. They'll put a Egyptian pyramid gimmick on one side, and then, you know, that's good. Them, them bees, them queens can recognize that. Believe it or not, they can recognize that. But what I do, I'll take a little branch like this. And, and I'll, let me shove it under here so the wind don't blow it away. Yeah, do that. I'm going to do this and put this under here, the window. And them queens will come back and they'll, they will, they will recognize that. They say, oh, there's where I got to go. And they'll come right in there. Okay. So that's that. Mission complete. I got to go back to base camp, drop off this other hive. And uh, I'll cut out some honeycomb and make a little show on it. I'll show you guys how I'm getting the honeycomb out of there with my little cookie cutter top tool. All right. So we'll be back on May 26th. I'll, I'll bring you along. We'll get back in here on May 26th and open up all four of these. And uh, so far this year, I've run 100%. But on average, I run 80% success rate. But the main thing is, guys, feed these bees. Feed these queens. You see how the sunlight's shining through that jar? If I don't get my hiney back over here tomorrow and get one of these buckets on here, this thing will start getting algaed up. And, 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 you've got, and then you've got an issue, maintenance problem, cleaning up those jars. One more thing we don't need on our plate, okay? All right, so on the next deal, Maybe I'll maybe I'll add the uh, comb cutting thing to the tail end of this video. All right, I'll catch you in a little bit. Bye bye.